Good morning, YouTube. I decided to make this video before I lay down and go to sleep. And this video I pretty much want to make about check yourself. And the reason why I came out with this one, because a lot of times we can rant about, oh, my damn fleet manager, uh, this other driver, this, that, or such and such, uh, ABC company is doing this and doing that. But the question is, what are you doing? Are you doing stupid things that could be causing the treatment that is occurring? Because obviously where there's an action, there's an opposite reaction. So either it can be a reaction from, it could be that it's a reaction from either what the company is doing, so maybe you're reacting on that behalf, or it can be something that you're doing to why the company is treating you that way and i i know i look tired guys because as usual as i get off here i'm about to lay it on down but the reason that made me kind of think of this one today is because i had a load today right and i'm not afraid to put myself on blast when i make decisions that i feel like hey it's not always the company sometimes it can be you so um like i was complaining about the loads that um on the low board you know that cheap freight this and that and that still kind of is until the rates go up and i really need to check out the dat board to see how rates are doing because rates can change from day to day it could just change to where you always have to keep up on you know how it's doing so you can always know just the fact of knowing knowledge is power so i'm just putting myself on blast today i don't mind shit y'all already see i put all my fucking business out there anyway so like let's just start with the story i'm trying my best not to make it long you know how females they give all the extra instead of just getting straight to the point so straight to the point starting is i had my load today right or should i say yesterday and sometimes when you tell your fleet manager that you're going to leave a certain day sometimes things can change to where it can kind of push the time out that you thought you was going to leave but you didn't so um the like the low window for yesterday was between 12 afternoon to midnight i got there on time and everything that's not the problem but i was tired so i had got there at the end of the window which was midnight but if i would have really did it right i could have picked it up as soon as it was ready which is the recommended way because you give yourself enough time to get to your receiver and to be able to pick up the next load and have time under your belt to keep it going. You never really want to take the very end of a window. I mean, that's if you, I mean, if you have to do what you have to do, then by all means, but you can kind of mess your clock up to where you don't have as much on your ELD clock to really play with because now you're running tight to where you got to wait to do the next delivery because now you got to do a 10 hour reset because you didn't manage your time right. So that's why it's best to pick your load up as soon as you're able to, you know, of course you do your shower, you get your rest. And then obviously if you on home time and you just can't leave for personal reason, then of course family do come first. But you know, you have to check yourself. And I thought about it cause I like, I got the load delivered. I think, oh, that's another thing too. Like I got the load picked up on time and I had to, cause it was a two day trip. So I think I did like 400 miles of the trip and then I shut down. So I was really tired. So I ain't gonna lie. I went like four hours over my 10 hour break. Cause man, sometimes I get really drained to where I just, I be out of it. So sometimes I need the time and then I be on here trying to give information. That's why I say you gotta really be careful with doing YouTube and trying to maintain work until you gotta find a balance. Because if you don't, one or the other will get neglected. And obviously, this is my main bread and butter. So I can't mess up my business, but I don't mind helping either. So I'm just trying to find the balance. So like I said, I got up four hours past my 10-hour shift. So that kind of put me behind to where, I mean, I had a four-hour clock when I got up. But then when I proceeded to get on the highway, I ran into standstill traffic. And I, and I filmed some of it too. I got in standstill traffic where that delayed me another two hours. So it delayed me to the point to where I was like an hour late to the receiver. So, you know, I still had, I believe like another 500 miles on my trip. 
So that took majority, no, I had four, 400 miles left on my trip to where that took about eight hours of my ELD. So by the time I got here, I only had two hours left to work with. So I had another load that uh, was picking up from the same place and I could have, if I would have ran, like got there early to pick it up and got that load here like way early today, I could have been reset my 10 hour clock and could have started this trip and had this trip there today to then start my next trip. Like, you know, bomb, bomb, bomb. You know, you gotta, you turn this, turn that, turn this and turn that. So I kind of got to push this appointment, this second load that I'm picking up. Cause I mean, I dropped the first load, that's fine. All that's taken care of, you know, it's dropped successfully, no problems or anything. Everything was able to be understood and pushed out. But now it's like, even this load is able to be, to be pushed out. But you know, when you have integrity and you just have pride in how you do your job, you don't just say, well, since they ain't saying nothing to me, I'm cool with that. You have to take personal um, self check of yourself. So I'm the type of person where I take pride in being on time. I take pride in being professional at my job. I take pride in doing the job right. I take pride in safety. Now, great, I, I cut up here on up here on this channel with y'all. I even have foul language, but as y'all see, for the most part, other than the one where I almost cussed the yard jockey out. But when I'm in front of these reach, these shippers and receivers, and even talking on the phone to my company. You know, I change into my professional mode to where I'm no longer vulgar. Well, unless, of course, maybe they get vulgar with me. But it shouldn't need to be tick for tack. So that's why I said self-check. Self-check is never, you never put excuses. Well, I did this because this. You got to be the bigger person. Because at the end of the day, when you learn to be a bigger person, you know, you win at the end. Either really it's not always about winning or losing this and that. It's always about you knowing you did your part. And you knowing that because you did your part, you shouldn't have no consequences that's to follow you then forward. That's why I said self-check. So like I said, you know, the things that's making me self-check right now is the fact, okay, now I had to call my company to make them um, push the delivery. Like I picked it up one time, picking the second load up wasn't a problem. But I think I had till midnight tonight to deliver it, but by me having to shut down, because I only had two hours left, but this trip is calling for eight hours to run it. I don't have enough time to run it, so I have to sit and do a 10 hour reset to where if I would have got there way early for the first load, I could have been driving already to get this off my back and jumping onto the next load to turn miles and money. So I didn't manage the time right. Cause you know, sometimes I ain't gonna front to y'all. When you get home with your kids, you don't wanna leave. When you get home with your family, you be comfortable, especially when you've been out for months or you've been out for a month or even three weeks and you just been working hard, running hard to where you drain and you only go home for like two or three days. Sometimes two and three days is not enough. But at the end of the day, as a driver, especially if you the provider, you force yourself to get back out there because you know you have to. And energy wise, you might not be ready. Mental wise, you might not be ready. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I really wasn't ready to come back out, but you know, my business bills is coming in, personal bills coming in, so what I, I ain't got no choice, gotta get back out here whether I'm ready or not. So, you know, a lot of times fleet managers can only do what, you know, they can do because my fleet manager, he picked these three lows I had, and they good lows, because I told y'all that USA is, you know, has some cheap breaks right now on the board, so I told y'all one of the options is to call and get your fleet manager to help you piece it together so you can still have a good week. So my fleet manager, Matt, on um, Team 5, he's cool as hell. I like him. And I don't want to let him down because every time I call him, he's always nice to me. He's always looking out. So, you know, the least I can do is do my job, be on time, run hard, and, you know, make him proud so he can continue to help me. Because if you keep being late or... You keep just, just doing a crappy job the way you getting claims or you just doing dumb stuff to where you just either being unsafe, doing stupid stuff, then your fleet manager is going to look like we ain't planning no good loads on you. We give you, we give you the crappy loads because that's the kind of work ethic you're giving us. You're going to give us crappy work ethic. We're going to give you crappy loads. So a lot of times you get what you give. So if you're not giving quality, you ain't going to get quality because you don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? 
So, like I said, at the end of the day, check yourself. Sometimes the people, and this ain't even got to do in trucking. Sometimes the people that you talking junk about or the people you complaining about, if, the, if it's more than one person that you feel like is doing the same type of treatment to you, check yourself. Is this something you doing? Like, really look in the goddamn mirror. Look in the mirror. And like, damn, am I really doing this stuff that people keep complaining on me about? Hmm. Am I putting 100% effort into doing my part to make sure that I get the respect I need? Hmm. No. Am I, uh, am I being productive in whatever I'm supposed to be doing? Hmm. No. So, okay, then, self-check. Like, I mean, a lot of times people got their hand out, give me, give me, give me. But what kind of giving are you doing to get back? So, a lot of times people don't believe this, you know, people always want more than they can give. But 50-50, and it's not even just in a uh, intimate or personal relationship. This can be a business relationship, too. You know, you have to give in order to receive. You know, it's, that's just how it goes. You know, I mean, a, a, sometimes, a lot of times, some people just have that luck to where they can do more uh, receiving than giving. But that's not, I feel like that's not an even balance. So, I had to check myself. And I was like, man, I'm doing all this fucking complaining making goddamn videos bitching about cheap rates and I'm sitting here I guess losing momentum or letting my tiredness you know kind of slow me down so I'm like wow it's all good I'm checking myself I was tired so I'm just saying I analyzed myself and after the doing the full analyzation I realized I'm getting tired like I really I think I need a vacation but when you doing trucking especially as a lease operator you have to be good with saving don't spend more than you earn. Don't go over like living out of your means because when you want to take a vacation, you need to have funds put aside for your fixed costs and your business so that you can like be home for like two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month and, and your, you know, your truck payment still getting paid, your insurance still getting paid. And I mean, that's all you should really be wearing. And of course your personal bills are paid. So you need to put that money aside in your, uh, like you should have two savings account. Even if you got your uh, your account with the company, it's different accounts that you're putting away for for a rainy day. So you have to do that stuff in order to take a vacation. And um, you know, my savings is good, but my major goal is a really bigger one to where I'm trying to, um, you know, put my down deposit on this truck. So if y'all see uh, my um, GoFundMe account in my description on my page, that's why. Because I'm really trying to build up money to put a down deposit on my account. And I know y'all probably going to say it. Damn, girl, you always talking about saving money. But every time you turn around, you buying some shit. Stop motherfucking buying shit. You ain't lying. <laughs> my goddamn ex-husband, he was like, goddamn, Pinky, if I see another Amazon box at the door, I'm going to go crazy. Stop buying off of Amazon. Hey, man. Amazon. I need to go to Amazon Anonymous because I ain't going to front. I do be spending on Amazon. But I be, you know what? I ain't going to lie. A lot of stuff that I be getting on Amazon because obviously when you have a YouTube channel, you, I mean, YouTube is just like leasing because, I mean, you, in order to build the channel, you have to kind of spend money on certain things to build the channel up. Like, you got to spend money on phone service, money on cameras, money on phones. Like, you got to spend money on lighting, money on um whatever you call this thing that got that's just standing up. Money on mother sucking, uh, um you know, mics, like money on props, like money on looking the part, you know, to be in the video, this and that. So when I tell y'all that I take my channel serious, I spent a lot of money, and I'm not trying to make y'all feel bad to give me nothing, this and that. I'm just telling y'all, I'm always telling y'all shit. So I actually put back into my channel. Like a lot of stuff y'all see, I spend my own personal money to try my best to make it look professional. I got a cough hold up. <coughs> But I'm saying, you know, if it takes money to make money. So, you know, you got to invest. But that's why I'm saying I have to make a balance between the YouTubing and my trucking career. Because it's, it's either one or the other. But I've been able to do both this far. And nothing's going to kind of stop in between. But it is what it is. So, like I said, self-check. So, I just have to know when enough is enough for either or. So, yeah. Check yourself, y'all. Because... If, you know, you having problems and you keep having the same type of problem, 
you got to look at it. Is it is it them or am I doing my part? Am I doing everything that I can do? Because if I'm not, then I can't be mad. Let me get a water, y'all. I can't be mad. It's always about hydration, too. Because a lot of times, one dude say, hey, man, you talking about your lips, chat? Yo, you got to drink water in the wintertime, too. So, wait a minute. You right, because a lot of times, because it's cold, you can take hydration for granted, thinking that you're not sweating or it's not hot, so you don't have to hydrate. But you got to drink just as much water in the wintertime as you do the summertime. But right now, I'm here in Georgia, and man, Georgia, it's kind of warm down here today. I definitely ain't got to run no bunk heater. I found my bunk heater, too, y'all, because I think one video I was talking about buying an inverted some crap so that I could have a space heater. But, you know, a lot of these trucks are equipped with us a, a bunk heater to where it runs without idling so yeah so yes man look in the mirror like michael jackson you gotta look in the mirror because nobody's perfect everybody makes mistakes and there's nothing wrong with admitting to your mistakes even if you just admit to yourself uh what you're doing wrong so that you can fix it it ain't about judging you it's not about making you out to be the bad person it's just about making us out to be the best people that we can be so that any kind of relationship that we have in this world, it can be productive and good ones instead of drama, beef, uh, complaining, goddamn just bullshit drama all the time. Who got time to be living like that? It seems like a lot of this stuff is based off drama, problems, issues. If it's not drama or problems, people don't want to watch. So, yeah. Check yourself, man. I check mine. I check myself on a regular basis. And I ain't afraid. It's not even just admitting to the camera or this video that I'm wrong. If I'm wrong to a person in person, I'll go to them and apologize. You know what? You right. I did some shit. I'm so sorry. You know, if there's anything I can do to make up. For my dumbness, I'm so sorry about that. I ain't afraid to apologize because I'm not perfect. I do some stupid shit. I'm up here spitting, but I do some stupid shit sometimes. And I had to smack my own self upside the motherfucking head like, girl, you stupid as hell. Get your shit together. I'll be like, dang, you right. All right. So, yeah, y'all. All right, let me get up off here and lay down and this and that so I can be ready after my 10-hour recess instead of going four hours over the shit and then bitching that they got cheap shit. They probably gonna keep giving me cheap shit if I keep pulling these goddamn moves. They're gonna be like, man, this chick, she's stupid, man. All we got to deal with this fucking chick bitching. <sighs> <laughs> All right, man, let me get up off here. I need to sew my damn, my stuff in, but I got this joint wrapped up until I can sew it in. So it is what it is. So, all right, y'all, let me get y'all a smiley face. Smiles, baby, smiles, baby. Mwah. Deuces. Time is the essence. Gotta make better time of it. Got to love each other. Let me try saying y'all. You got to love each other and not judge each other. Let me stop. I'm not sitting here embarrassing myself. Let me check that. Get the checkup off here. Deuces.